Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we are competing in the last event of the 2021 QCKBF Tournament Trail Series, the Carolina Clash. The rules of this particular tournament is you can launch on any public launch on Lake Norman, Mountain Island, or Lake Wiley. Um, we are on Lake Norman, put in at the Beatty's Ford Access Area. Um, got about 10 more minutes before our uh, lines in, but I'm doing some last minute preparations. Hopefully we can make a showing of it. Let's get to it. They got to be bigger than that. All right, guys, first little fish of the day, 14 inches on the board. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys, second one, 14 and three quarter. Gonna get him back in the water. He ain't much to look at, but third fish of the day, uh, right at 12 inches. Let's get him back in the water. inches well only 11 inches large mouth though that's cool let's get him back in the water Thank you. 
All right, guys. 15 and three quarter. That's my be biggest one of the day. Nice large mouth, man. That's a that's a stout large mouth. Not very long, which is unfortunate in a bass tournament, in a kayak tournament. That's a stout fish there. Look at him. Good little fish. All right. That completes the limit. Let's get him back in the water. Well guys, midday update. Um, things are going pretty good. Uh, catching fish, they're not really the size that I need, but it's good to know that I can, I'm at least catching fish. Um, I've got the, I've got a limit at this point, small limit. I think it's 57 inches, I believe is what I've got. Um, I literally, uh, I'm at the halfway point. It's uh, 1109 right now, which, which means we got plenty of time to do some upgrading. So that's good. Knock on wood, man. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make a show of this. Catch you in a little bit. Same dock as that last one. <laughs> Same dock. Just a little guy, but it's a that's a 12 and a half inch or I had a 12 inch in the uh, in the live well, so that'll help a little bit. All right, a little half inch upgrade off the same dock. That's the same dock that I caught that uh, the 15 inch largemouth on. That's pretty cool. But let's get him back in the water. guy nice and fat well guys 14 and a half inches that's a nice little upgrade so biggest that i have is 15 and three quarter the smallest that i have is 14 so uh i got my middle range fish i got all the little ones i got rid of all the little ones um i still don't have any uh, like a kicker yet but still have about two and a half hours let's see if we can get some more in the boat Wonder what the heck? I, I'd seen it chase it twice. Oh, white bass, or I don't know. I don't know. If that's a perch, or a, I don't know what that is. A white perch.
hard fighting little fish. All right, 14 and three quarters. That's a slight upgrade. All right, guys, a little upgrade. Let's get him back in the water. largemouth actually it came off the very next cast from that last fish I caught unfortunately it's only 14 and a quarter inches so that is not going to help the cost but still fun to catch all right let's get him back in the water all right guys 2 p.m. one hour one hour remaining in this event i'm um, sitting just shy of 60 inches which is not a bad showing but it's going to take a lot more than that to even place in this event so got one more hour let's see if we can uh, get an upgrade or two let's get back to it wasn't going to help. Oh, I missed him. Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, it's uh i still got another 15 minutes until lines out but i'm not sure if you can tell it has uh the weather has turned sour uh it is uh some gale forced winds going on right now and quite frankly it's a uh it's not safe where i i ended up so i need to uh i'm gonna head back to a uh basically just beat the bank get up close like I'm, I'm pretty much out in the main channel right now so that's not a good thing because it's uh, there's a lot of the wind is something else and the waves are something else so uh I, i'm gonna wrap it up if you'd like to know anything about the well actually i'm not gonna wrap it up just yet i'm gonna wrap up fishing i'm gonna go to the weigh-in and so i'm gonna get some video of the weigh-in because this is the last event of the qc kbf season the, re the last regular season event so we'll get to see who's angler of the year uh who's most improved that's actually the one that, that's the that's the uh uh award i'm going for i want to go i want to see most improved um that's that's the uh the, the award i want to go to um as far as like this actual event like it will be able to Um, whew. all right we'll get to see where i placed in this event I, it's not going to be i mean i i think i finished just shy of 60 inches um it's not going to be i know it's not enough for 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to place. But we'll see. Stay tuned. I mean, when I say it's white capping, I mean, it is, this is bad. I mean, really, really bad. Woo! I mean, there's some big swales going on out here. Holy cow, this is ridiculous. And now it's time for <laughs> Tackle Roundup. Obviously, uh, I didn't do Tackle Roundup. My, my plan was I was going to do Tackle Roundup on the way back to the boat ramp. But as you saw, things got a little hairy out there on the water. It was, uh, yeah, it was actually kind of dangerous. So I totally was not in the right headspace. I was concentrated on getting back safely. So I didn't do tackle roundup on the water, but I'm doing it after the fact. Um, what I caught my fish on was this. This is just a trick worm by Zoom. The color is bold bluegill on a one eighth ounce shaky head jig. And that's what I've been uh, catching my, my fish on. Uh, the first couple I caught on uh, drop shot. And I was using a uh, Robo Worm Morning Dawn was the name of the color, six inch straight tail worm. Uh, and that's what I caught my first two on. And then I was using a popper early on. Uh, it was the weirdest thing. Uh, I was using a popper like first thing in the morning. And I don't know if the fish were, 
I think this fish must have been cross-eyed or something because like I was popping it and they would blow up at it, but they would be like six inches away from where the actual lure was. I mean, they'd hit it, try to hit it at least, and they wouldn't even get the thing like even remotely in their mouth. It was, it was kind of bizarre and, and frustrating. So ended up going to the uh, shaky head route and uh, I mean, it was very, it was windy all day. I was trying to do spinner baits and all kinds of stuff that you're supposed to do uh, for windy conditions. However, it just, just wasn't happening. I don't, I don't know what it was. So I would have to find like a, a pocket that was shaded from the wind. And then I was able to fish the, uh, the shaky head. And that's, uh, that's what I used. So um, that's it right there. Six inch zoom trick worm, bold bluegill. And that concludes today's <laughs> tackle roundup. Um, some closing thoughts. Uh, I say closing thoughts. I was I uh, was gonna film some stuff at the the weigh-in. I went to the weigh-in. Uh, it was the the last uh, weigh-in of the season, and I actually forgot to bring my camera in, and then I was too lazy. I didn't want to walk back out to the car and and uh, come back. So I'll tell you what happened. Uh, as far as the tournament itself, uh, I knew I wasn't going to be, I mean, I had, that was a fun tournament. I got to level with you. It was fun. I mean, I caught fish all day. I just was not able to round up any size. And that was just something that I knew was going to hurt me. Um, there were 91 people in this last tournament and I finished 20th, I believe. I believe I finished 20th. So, I mean, it was, it was kind of what I was expecting. Um, I would have liked to have done better, obviously, but uh, that, that's how it is sometimes. I mean, I was catching fish. I just couldn't, wasn't catching the right size fish. So there was that. But this is also a very important way in because it was the last regular season event for uh, to determine whether or not you made Tournament of Champions or not. Now, I haven't had a very good season. However, I've been pretty... Even though I haven't had any really good finishes, I've been pretty mediocre consistent. I mean, that's pretty much how it was. And I came into this event, I think there's like, I don't know, 130 something paid folks in the club. Top 20 make Tournament of Champions outright. And then numbers 21 through 25 qualify for the fish off, which is like a, a wild card. So you could, you, you would compete in the 21 through 25 would compete in another tournament and the top two finishers of that would move on to tournament of champions. So basically you had to place somewhere uh, one to 25 in order to uh, move on to the next stage. So uh, going into this tournament, I was, I think I was 21st. So I was out, not, in the running for TOC, I was in the running for fish off right on that that borderline, um, and I knew it was gonna be it was gonna be close because uh, I was just hanging on the the edge there. The results are in. You had to make one through twenty five, and this guy number twenty six. <laughs> I was one out. I was one away from moving on to the next stage, but wasn't meant to be. Uh, I, I, it was, it was interesting because like, I, I kind of knew who was around me uh, as far as the standings going into this tournament. And then as they were announcing the results for this tournament, I was seeing all those names, like, you know, when they were given the, you know, going down the list of the, the finishers. And I was like, this is not good. Everybody who needed to do good to beat me did good. I mean, congrats, you guys. That, yeah, it was, it was amazing. The, uh, the guys, every guy that was like around me did awesome in this tournament. And they, uh, they absolutely bumped me out, which is disappointing. I'm not going to lie, but. I'm just happy. Honestly, I would have loved to make fish off or tournament of champions, but I got to level with you just to be able to say that I, I was in contention with the guys that are in this club. This club is just, they're just loaded. They are stacked. The, the, the top 20 guys in this club could beat anybody in the country. 
uh, at, at, on any given day. They're just that good. So the fact I was able to at least, you know, to even hang with them uh, is, is saying a lot. Because, I mean, I'm just, I'm a mediocre fisherman at best. And uh, it was a, a long, hard tournament. And I'm, I'm disappointed, but I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do this year. So, I mean, that's good. And uh, honestly, uh, I was... I was a little bit concerned because, you know, every year I do a uh, Halloween, a Halloween themed video. And I was concerned if I make Tournament of Champions and then if I make uh, TOC after that, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have any free time to do the video. So lucky for y'all. My schedule has opened up <laughs> dramatically. Um, I have some openings in the schedule now. So uh, I will be doing a Halloween-themed video next week. So you have that to look forward to. But uh, there are also some year-long uh, year uh, awards. Not awards, what's the word? Prizes. Uh, yeah, awards. awards that's, that's, I guess that's a good word. Uh, some year-long awards. You know, they gave out awards for, you know, biggest bass all year uh they gave out awards for most top 10 finishes obviously i'm not in any of those categories the one that i was interested in was most improved because i really think that i've, I've worked really hard i thought that like i really had worked hard and i'm still not very good but compared to where i was last year it's like night and day so i was i was i, I thought i was in contention for that so they announced that award didn't win that one either. Um, my buddy uh, Gustavo, I'm going to leave him from Latino Bassin. I'm going to leave his channel right there. Uh, uh, my buddy Gustavo won that award. And let me tell you, that dude, I think what they did was they, they compared where you finished last year to where you finished this year. Um, and whoever moved the most places up uh, won the most improved award. I don't know where I was. I was probably, I don't know, probably around 10. I moved up maybe 10, 15 spots uh, over where I was last year. I think Gustavo moved up 60 places or something. I mean, he just blew it out of the water. So awesome job. Congratulations, Gustavo, man. That was, uh, that was awesome. All in all, that was a really fun tournament. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to participate in that. Uh, really good time. Uh, congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations to uh, Jeremy Heath, one angler of the year. Um, and then uh, my buddy, uh, well, Jeremy Heath is, is my buddy, but also Chris Goodwin was going for his three-time angler of the year. Uh, just barely missed it. Uh, both of those guys are just phenomenal anglers and uh, good friends. Congratulations, you guys. Y'all did awesome. I will be following you from the sidelines in the Tournament of Champions. But uh, I think I'm going to uh, have a beer, enjoy my downtime. And y'all got you guys uh, put a hurting on them on the TOC. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be seeing you next time, next week, with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. It'll be the Halloween edition, so that'll be really cool. Um, Y'all take care. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing. Oh. False alarm.